Now we're sailing about 25 miles to Stock Island. We can see Key West. This boat looks awfully familiar. So here's another one. Oh my gosh, there's so many. And that's what you never want to do on a cruising sailboat. Okay, today we are making our way back to Key West from the Marquesas and Boca Grande, but first we have to let Jetty off to go to the bathroom, so we're just teaching the boat. Stock Island. We're gonna try to avoid Key West just because it's spring break and probably super crowded, but we need fuel, water, alcohol for the stove, and some other things at West Marine. And I think we're gonna go try to get a fish sandwich for lunch or dinner. So if a fish pulls, you can see it moving up here. At least I'm telling myself that's what's gonna happen. <laughs> but nothing yet. Pulling to the channel here on Stock Island and just coming past this boatyard with some cool looking beat up boats. For some reason we always get attracted to those types of boatyards. Some really neat looking boats in there, but definitely look like they have a they had a rough time. Probably a bunch of hurricane wreck boats from, from Irma that destroyed this place a few years ago. This boat looks awfully familiar. How ready are you for our new boat? Oh, I can't like give it to me now please oh here's another one. Oh my gosh there's so many it's like a sea wind family oh and there's another one and another one we got to go on this exact boat in Naples two years in a row Mackay okay we're just pulling into the anchorage and we found a bunch of fans that watch our videos and they all want to say hi Hey, 
All right, you guys, it's another day. It's going to be another day of sailing. We pulled into this little cut yesterday, right next to Stock Island here. We walked down the West Marine. We went to dinner in this fancy restaurant right here. First, on a date. first fancy dinner date in a, in a little while, and the food was actually really, really good. And we met some friends who we met a couple years ago uh, at Salt Ponds Marina, our friend Jean's Marina. Um, and they're, they were just working on the boat still, and that was a couple years ago, now they're cruising. And it's time to go sailing again. We're gonna have to beat into this easterly wind, and unfortunately, no matter how hard we try, at some point, we always seem to have a schedule and have to get back to something, and that's what you never wanna do on a cruising sailboat. It's just, it forces you into situations like having to beat into easterly winds. If we had all the time in the world, we wait a week and find a cool spot to chill. And we have some wedding stuff to do. We have like an, our engagement pictures and Sierra's picking out a wedding dress and all that stuff back at. And all that stuff could have been postponed, but my uh, cousin's getting married and we are holding her bridal shower. So I have to be home for that. I mean, we're so close to the area. We can't, well, she can't I miss, that. miss that. Nope. Um, so. It's just, uh, you know, something you gotta balance especially when we're cruising, but we're still close to our base. And then we do want to get this boat back on the trailer and, and get off to somewhere else, somewhere new that we've never been before. And we have been to the Keys before. So um, unfortunately, that's just what it is. And the Keys are great. And I know a lot of you are probably upset that we're going to be missing a lot of them, but hopefully we'll get a couple of good days here where we can actually enjoy it but we'll see the weather's it's, not it's looking supposed good. to be windy we'll every see. day we'll see maybe we'll get some kiting in i mean that's the only promising thing that it's looking like right now to have fun activity but otherwise it's basically just going to be sailing and sailing <laughs> <laughs> which is fine um we'll stay on the inside of the reef we'll just kind of tack back and forth in hawk's channel right here and uh hopefully be more protected than if we were on the outside of the reef so here we go we're, we're just going 15 miles upwind to Summer. Summerland Key. We need to get some denatured alcohol for the stove that they didn't have at West Marine. And uh, that's a nice protected spot. And we'll just kind of eat little bits off, like half day, half day sails here and there so we don't beat ourselves up too bad beating into, into the wind. It's frustrating that we always try, like even with this trip, we were telling ourselves, you know, we're going to be able to take it nice and slow and really enjoy it. And Well, even with this boat in general, we wanted to get over to California and that's there's no shot that that's happening now like unless we drive for a week straight and then are there for only a week and to account for you know things that could go wrong with you know probably not so much the boat but trailering it out there with my truck we have to make sure this boat is back because the boat has been sold and they need to clean it up and do all this stuff and that takes time so yep just more scheduling but that <laughs> between that and like the stuff we have in early April it's just frustrating that we keep telling ourselves we'll have more time, but then we keep, and we do have plenty of time in the beginning, but then sure enough, it catches off and we gotta get back for something. But at the end of the day, this trip, we wanted to see some new stuff and we did. We'd never we, seen the West Coast before and it was beautiful. Um, we had never, like that little island off of like the Everglades was so cool. Like, and we did have, we were able to like take it slow and take our time over on the West Coast as well. Like at least we have like that first half of just kind of total cruising relaxation mode and being able to explore a little bit and stuff like that and now it's just catching up but if you guys are cruising or if you are going to be cruising just keep that in mind try to not schedule things and and if you do just give yourself like 10 times the amount of time to get where you need to be it's just yeah life just gets in the way and boating gets in the way weather gets in the way like systems get in the way and truck and, and trailers get in the way like. and our and our work that we have to do along along the way takes a lot of time like having to find the internet sit down and just work on the computer all day like that's what we have to do to keep this channel going and to keep this lifestyle going so we got time on our side when i stayed on home Every time you're away, I long for you so much I can find my way. No! 
Which way is your out? So let's go ahead and get on a close hauled course. We're looking at our tacking angles here. The wind is much more south than I thought it was gonna be, which is nice because we'll probably just shoot past Summerland Key and just gain as much distance as we can today. Probably make it all the way marathon, which is maybe 35 miles. Yeah, just use this favorable wind. I mean, favorable as in it's not directly on our nose, um, but use that, that favorable wind as best we can to get as far as we can um, before it does turn on our nose. So. Whatever, if it, if it does turn on our nose, we'll just uh, see halfway through the day if we want to turn into Summerlin Key and whatever. We're going like eight to nine knots right now. The boat is, it's definitely getting faster as we're unloading our drinking water and food and like excess supplies, so. But it's not quite where it was when it was completely empty. But I mean, eight to nine knots close hauled into the wind is fine. We could probably bear off just a few degrees and really pick up some speed. And maybe we will if we have the room. Yeah, bear, bear off like, a, I don't know, a few degrees, just a few degrees. wind picks up it would be a really good kiteboarding spot actually um, really flat water and some natural like this natural island over here and then it looks like some pretty nice houses over here on Summerland Key and then over here is like it looks like someone's own private island pretty cool little spot we're just about to launch the dinghy we're gonna take it into shore we'll hit the hardware store and grab a bite to eat and uh, we already saw a shark, which was cool. Yeah. We jumped in the water to cool off, and now we're ready to go for a long dinghy ride. Ah, lounge spot. Keep a lookout for me, will ya? I got, I got the chart. I hope you're talking to Jet. Said he bark if we're gonna hit something. You'll get comments from people saying, that's not appropriate behavior. Thank you. 
No, it's all right. Ooh, so basically the nicest people we've ever met over here at Summerland Ace Hardware. They let us leave our dinghy here all tied up while we walk across the street to grab a bite to eat. Super friendly. We're gonna go get us some cock critters. dinghy ride through all the neighborhoods and looked at a bunch of cool houses and now we're watching the sunset. It's got a ways to go still. Yeah, but so do we. <laughs> <laughs> I must say just driving the dinghy through those canals we're just lounging in here and with the electric engine that's silent it was really nice. It was just relaxing. We're just like cruising through the canal, checking out all the cool houses and stuff. And we could hear each other talk. I, I could hear you talk because I'm the one going deaf. Yeah. 